first things first, if you're hoping that I'm going to spout some hate or some ignorance or tea, click away from this video because that's not the point of it. I don't want views like that. That's, I, I debated whether or not to even make this video because I'm not looking for views. And anyone who is watching this on behalf of Gabby, I just want to let you know I'm not trying to be hateful. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm legitimately just trying to reach out because I'm a mom and my brain just is watching things unfold and realizing that, you know, when you're almost 30, it seems like it seems from here that you're in a bubble and you're avoiding things. I don't know that you are. Um, for all I know, you are really going through it. Um, it. From the outside, it looks like you're just like flitting about, no big deal. And I just want to say, genuinely, I'm concerned for that because for your own mental health, as much as you think it's good, I feel like you, the avoiding thing is, is, is hurting. I don't really know what you talk about in therapy if, you, if you're continuing to go. I don't know any of that. So this is just an outsider standpoint. Uh, the thing I'm concerned with is, you know, the people who want to pick you apart every time you say something, fine, who cares about those people? They, they're just going to talk. I'm, I genuinely am not trying to pick you up, apart. I'm trying to let you know that the people who want you to succeed right now, besides the ones who are loyal fans, who don't care, don't believe anything, and are like, no, I'm on your side the whole time, there are also people who are teetering between fandom and not. There are people who were fans and just are really disappointed from what looks like you avoiding the situation completely. And I want you to know that if you, if you address it, yeah, people are going to pick you apart. That's just what they're going to do. But the fans, the people who really want to be your fan, you might get them back. You might care. Like if, if you really care about them, you really should at least address how you felt like you disappointed them without pointing fingers at anybody, without saying, I'm sorry if you guys felt disappointed. Say, I'm sorry I disappointed you because you, you did. Like, whether or not it was warranted is a different story. People are disappointed. And um, I don't know. I just, it just makes me sad because I don't know you again. You seem like an, you seem like an okay person who just sometimes has issues because who doesn't? Um, and I know you keep saying you're happy and all that, but as somebody who's clearly still finding herself, because you, you, you think you said your final form and all that stuff in a, in an interview, but you continue to find yourself no matter how old you get. If you're somebody who likes to learn and grow, even at 40, even at 50, even at 60, you should still be learning and growing. There's no final form I'm telling you that some people really want you to say something because they care, not because they want to tear you down, not because they want to bully you. Those people don't matter. Um, the people who are picking apart appearances, you know what that is. That who cares? Like, look at my nose. I've, I've, I've heard these things all the time. Um, as a matter of fact, I related to you. I never watched Vine. I don't, I don't, the only thing I ever saw on Vine were some compilations on YouTube. I just recognize the pull of YouTube. I really recognize it. And I just wish that you would understand that some of your younger fans, they might take this as a lesson to be like, if you're just happy, just avoid all the haters. Not everybody is a hater though. Some people like myself tried to reach out and say, please just like, please address this. And you continue to say, no, no, no. When it's one person, fine. But when it's a bunch of people, it just starts looking a little like, okay, who's wrong here? Again, I don't know. I'm just a 40-year-old mom and, and I will move on with my life. But some of these people, they really looked up to you. And, you know, we just... We just want people to succeed, too. I hate it when people tear somebody down like that. And and I don't know the other parties. And they seem, they seem genuine, too. That's the thing. Everybody seems genuine sometimes. So it's like, what's right? What's wrong? I don't know. But I feel like instead of pointing fingers, instead of saying, no, but she did this, or no, he did that, or blah, 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 just... 
just stick to yourself and and say, you know, I messed up. I was, a ter- you know, I was, I'm not going to say that you weren't a terrible person. Maybe you said nobody's a terrible person. I'm sure there are some people, but a lot of people do terrible things or what seems like terrible things at the time, maybe out of context, who knows. It just, it all looks pretty bad and I feel like you didn't really own it. I feel like it was a lot of excuses and I know what that's like. I've done that. I I continue to do that. You just have to recognize when you do that instead of saying no, but I said what I said and that's it. That's, I don't feel like that's growing. Again, um, if somebody else is watching this for Gabby, I hope you watch till here and understand that I'm really not trying to be hateful. I'm not at all. And I, this might just hang around. Again, please don't watch this. Please don't give me views. Don't subscribe to me if you think this is what I do normally. I don't. My videos are weird and boring. You don't need to subscribe to anything I do. Please don't. Um, I just felt like I had to make this video as somebody who listened to a lot of those songs because they're catchy. I mean, I like anything from classical to hip hop. And when it's catchy, I like it. So it's a shame to take those videos off of my liked videos off of any playlist that I had just because it makes me sad to watch someone who may or may not be actually toxic I don't I don't know that I believe you are so if you want to sway somebody doesn't have to be me I'm sure there's other people on the fence you know just that's all I want to say and if this was very rambly yeah that's how I talk so you don't like that again don't subscribe to my channel not I'm not trying to do this I didn't even want to say a youtuber's name in my video but I felt kind of strongly about this just because I have a son who is going to look up to people like you and I want him to know that even when someone messes up you know they can still apologize without pointing fingers that's all I'm saying all right I'm gonna go now because my phone will probably overheat anyway I hope life gives anyone who's watching this what they need and Gabby I really hope that you know I really hope you're okay in reality and it's not I hope you're okay I don't know that you are I don't know if it's manipulation or anything I hope you're okay